first thing we did with the guys is um, have all the coaches go around the room and talk about where they were in 1989-90. And uh, everybody got to age themselves a little bit. But we told the team it was the first time that there's been an undefeated non-conference season since 89-90 in Indiana. And I think that's a big, big deal. And that's something that they can um, can uh, carry with them. And, not, and, and uh, it's huge. So that was something we wanted to get done tonight. We wanted to have great preparation for what we could see down the road. And it, it worked out to be that way because when you get into this time of year you're going to play hard games all the time you're going to play against teams that have a pro or pros uh, you're going to play against teams that that have a specialty and uh, and you're going to have to deal with different styles and I thought our guys inside of this game did a real good job of, of not letting the slower pace that they had to deal with defensively get them out of kilter but at the same time we needed to get better inside of the game and we were in the second half I thought we were much better in the second half in the sense of uh, activity, uh, our communication, all those kind of things were better. And, and uh, that's what has to happen for us. I mean, it, it's the harder the games, the harder you have to be. And, and you have to be that much more hard-nosed. You have to be that much more hard-lined. And uh, that's the way that it is. And that's what this team is learning. They have not been uh, in this situation ever before. They haven't been in this situation all season. Like, ever before, like they've been all season. But as we go through this right now, there's a lot of lessons to be learned. And, and uh, I thought we had some guys that impacted the game different ways. I thought Christian really impacted the game in the second half with the way that he defended. And uh, it's easy to look at the scoring, but when something's not going, you've got to have other things going. And I thought he impacted the game. I think Victor Aladipo uh, played like he was the best athlete on the floor. I think Will Sheehy did the same thing. They both had double-figure deflections. They both guarded at a high level. They both had... If you're looking at their stat sheet, they had a pretty good stat line. We, we challenged Cody and Victor yesterday to offensive rebound the ball even better than what they had been to pick up the slack for some others that aren't. They did that. Uh, Cody played a, a, a very good game, and uh, I wish he could have made a couple free throws to get himself over 20 again, but, but he impacted the game. And uh, Will Sheehy was tremendous again defensively. He gave us a big lift in the second half at Iowa. And uh, he carried that right with us tonight. So uh, it's, it's not always going to be pretty. It rarely is. But you've got to find a way to take what the game has given you when you're on the offensive end. And you've got to find a way to stay locked in, engaged uh, on the defensive end. And um, that's what I thought they did. So uh, we're excited about the win. We're excited to have some great visitors in there like the only thing Jim was mentioning missing on the bench was his black cap, his black 49er cap. He looked like he was on the sidelines at, uh, in the 49er games. But um, uh, we had the head coach of the year and the executive of the year talking to the team pregame and postgame. And Trent Balky, who is uh, the GM of the 49ers and a former roommate of, of, of Tim Buckley's. And they both went in the Hall of Fame this year at Bemidji State. So we had some very honored guests in there. So. Uh, good night for us, and now we get ourselves ready to get right back in the middle of conference play. Questions? Coach, uh, before you talk about the game, whose idea was it for uh, your brother-in-law to do the chair thing? Uh, His. Timeouts? His. He, he wasn't under, he wasn't any, any requirement. I, I, I had a... Trying to contribute. Oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> you know he was in here. He's a team guy. You know, he's a team guy. He, uh, he epitomizes winning. We hope we get on another roll with him speaking because the last time he was here, uh, Jim and John, we got on a pretty good roll when we went up to Purdue. So give them full credit. But uh, I, I think you bring up something like that, it goes to show why he's uh, a, a very successful leader as a player and certainly now as a coach because there's no job above him, there's no job beneath him, and it's all about winning. Not worried about having a Michigan spy on your bench, do you? Oh, he's not a Michigan spy. <laughs> Trust me. Are you? I'm not worried about that. Trust me. There's <laughs> uh, you know, no worries there. Tom, I know rebounding was a point of emphasis, and you pretty much dominated the boards. Can you talk about the way you succeeded in that area? Well, I thought we were active. Very, very active. Our blockouts were much better. We had slippage in that the other day, where we had been better there the last few weeks. And uh, our blockouts were much better. I mean, Dominique Sutton, I mean, there, it's, it's no accident why he's so good. I mean, we told our guys he'd be one of the toughest competitors to come in this building this year. And uh, he is. And, and, and we had guys that were in the fight with him. I mean, they were battling him. And he's good. I mean, he, he 
is he is definitely good. I see it. I see what everybody else at the next level sees with him after being in the game with him. But that's that's a big part of it too because he was coming off a huge game. He's a double figure rebounder. I mean, if you're not locked into the glass, a kid like that, a young man like that, can really take it over. But again, I, I can't. We've got to rebound the ball as a whole better. We did tonight, but. But we've got more guys that really got to get in the mix and come up with the boards. And, and uh, Cody, Victor, what we'll end up with tonight. Well, at seven, that was very good. That, that, was, a, that was a big jump for him. That, that's, that's important. How, how important was it to you, for you to have a number of guys like, like Will and Victor and Cody to play just efficient games offensively? Uh, I think it's good. I think it's good. I mean, when you're, when you're coaching the game, you're not really thinking about that. I mean, it, it's... Uh, that's for the film, and that's for looking at the numbers. And, and uh, um, no, th this this game, there was no preconceived. Uh, we had different things we planned defensively. I mean, we, we game plan for this like we do for anybody else. And and uh, there were no pre preconceived notions. I want to be able to do this, and let's go to that, and let's get this guy. No, you're, you're coaching to win the game. And uh, you're, you're doing your program a disservice and your team a disservice if you're not coaching to win that game the best way possible. And, and it, it, it's it's about performance. I mean, it really is. I mean, you got to perform, and, and you got to keep getting better. Practice is a time to improve. You want to improve in the game, but you got to bring some substantial qualities to the game to be successful with where we're heading, and and uh, and where where we are right now. So that's what I'm more interested in than anything else. John, how do you talk Terry, about, go ahead. You talked about Sutton and the high level player he is, mm -hmm. and then, but in the same breath, you talked about Victor being the best athlete on the floor. You just talked about the kinds of things he... Well, I'd probably, I'd probably rephrase that and say Will was as good, too, with that. But, but those guys really played. They, play, they, they played an excellent game. You know, the two of them did. But uh, uh, and it, it's no accident they both ended up on him. Will did a good job on him. And um, uh, Derek did okay with him. Christian did a really good job in the second half. So it, it's you gotta, you got to constantly find ways to impact the game. And, and it's... It, it, it's always giving you something on offense, and you got to take things away on defense. And when you're locked into those things happening, you're going to get better. And I thought Victor and Will really did that. Mike, Coach, how do you work with a guy who's going through a scoring slump like Christian seems to be in the last? Well, I think you saw what we did. We continued to play him. We continued to, when he made the pass to Derek for the dunk, uh, that was that was the highlight of the night for me. <clears throat> I mean, it's. What, what everybody needs to understand, everybody wants to score points. Everybody wants to have a free flow game. It's not that way. And, and, and we wouldn't be in this situation that we're in this season with 21 wins without the play of Christian Watford. So the bottom line is, is he bringing things to the table that make us better in the game? Now, he's a, uh, there's nobody in here, and there's very few people out there that want to deal with him when, when, when he's guarding them. I mean, because when he spreads out and plays, and he's improved so much, and I think it's important that we keep remembering that, that I keep remembering that with him, but most importantly, reminding him of that. He'll make shots. I mean, I, he shot it great in practice the last couple of days. So it, it, it's, I don't spend a lot of time on that. I spend more time on passing up open shots and taking bad shots. That, that's what I'm locked into. And as long as we're taking good ones and, and, uh, and, and not forcing things and, and we're active and moving, that's what it's all about. So to me, you know, it's, it's about getting the win. <coughs> And, and, and then we got a 24-7 building that Mr. Cook and a lot of others helped us build. And we've got one of the greatest uh, arenas out there that they can get in. There's no time that they can't be in this building, I mean, meaning Cook Hall for sure. There's no time. There's not a second they can't be in there to get better. And, and a lot of them use that. And, and moving forward, we're practicing short, so they need to make sure that, uh, and I'm not just using Christian as an example, but everybody. Go in there and make yourself better. Make it hard for me to... To take you out. Anything else? Coach, just Will's performance. I know he talked about his defense when he was able to do tonight, but offensively, really got into a rhythm for mm -hmm. what seemed like the first time in a while. You know, just talk about what made him successful. Well, see, your version of success and mine are different because, see, I thought even though we lost today, he does a lot of things. You know, I, I don't look just at the stat sheet and look at that he, that he, that he, that he scored. Is he impacting the game in a lot of different ways? And, and, uh, I know there were some questions yesterday about Will. Will's been playing pretty good. I mean, now he's got to, he's got to be more consistent. There's no doubt about that. And he's got to he's got to be the same guy on the road. But but Will's another one. You you don't want to deal with him. You don't want to bring the ball up against him. You don't want to try to post up. You don't want to be in a trap when he's in it. W Will's got some. Will's got an edge. And and uh, again, when he's taking good shots, when it's in the flow, when he's driving the ball, you know, good things are going to happen there. But I'm I'm way more interested in in. Uh, 
in his overall game, which starts on the defense, the rebounding, and the deflections. I was a graduate assistant at Michigan State, winning the Big Ten championship. <laughs> so, but um, it, it's it, every JD comes up with those stats, and, and it's it, it, it puts it in perspective. I mean, these guys have done a really, really good job this year. They're getting better. There's room to get better. Consistency. Uh, if, if you if you found a team that's consistent right now, you you they're they're either they've either peaked or they're probably not going to get beat. You know, it's all about keep keep finding the ways to get better. Keep finding the ways to get better. Them on their own, us as a team, and just keep building that mindset. And that's what they're trying to do. You, you Coach, be, Coach, when did uh, when did Coach Harbaugh talk to your team, and what did he say? Well, that would be private, what he said. But he talked to the team before the game, after the game, and a couple of weeks ago. ahead. You, you, you touched on it real quickly, but. It, the 24-hour access to Cook Hall, how's that helped this team with this turnaround oh, I think this year? It's helped. I think it's helped over the last couple of years. But, I mean, again, it's, it's a, um, what it means is there's no excuse not to get better, okay, ever. And, and um, uh, what it does is it gives guys opportunities to be in whenever they want to be in, you know, morning, noon, night. Um, there's, it, it, and we've got a lot of guys that really utilize it. Okay, thanks. Thanks. thanks.